Hello, I am CA Pooja Gopalakrishnan, a Reiki master and a Reiki coach. Welcome to my channel Wellness with Pooja. In my last video, we spoke about some of the amazing facts about Aura. We learnt about what is Aura, how it acts as a first line of defense and protects us from diseases before it manifests into the body. We spoke about how our negative thoughts, feelings and emotions affect our aura. How ill thoughts, ill feelings and evil eye of others affect our aura. We also understood why should we know about aura and why should we clean it. If you've not seen that video, I've provided a link of the video in the description box below. I would request you to please see that video so that when you clean your aura, you do it with full knowledge and faith. In this video, we'll talk about how to clean our aura. While there are many ways to clean the aura, in this video, we'll talk about 12 different ways. These are very simple methods which everybody can do. You don't need to do all the 12 of them. You can just choose two or three which you find convenient. Method number one is for those who know Reiki. If you're a level one student, you can effectively clean the aura through aura combing. If you have learned Reiki level two, you can use the symbol one very effectively to clean the aura. And if you have learned Reiki masters, you can use a combination of symbol one and the master symbol to effectively clean your aura or others aura. Reiki students must bear in mind that it's very important to keep the aura clean. Before you do any healing of yourself or others, for effective healing, you must clean the aura first. Aura cleaning is as important as we clean any substance before we polish it. Say for instance, when we polish wood, silver or gold, we clean them up first for effective polishing. Similarly, for effective healing, that aura has to be cleansed first. Many a time you will find aura cleaning itself solves a large part of the problem. Second method is visualization. It is a very powerful technique. Sit in a comfortable position with your eyes closed in a quiet place and visualize there is a white golden divine light which is flowing on top of your head and covering your entire body. Imagine it like a waterfall and as it is flowing through your body, imagine that all the negativities, the debris etc is getting washed off with that flow. The stronger your visualization, the more effective it will be. I am providing a picture here which will show the six typical types of problems which are found in the aura. These are holes in the aura, cords of attachment, energetic debris, cracks in the aura, energy sludge and stagnant energy. Third method is a very simple method which is salt water bath. Take two or three teaspoons of Sinda Namak which is also called pink salt, Himalayan pink salt in half a tub of water and take bath with this water. And while you are taking a bath, visualize that it is seeping through all your layers of the aura and removing all the negativities from the aura. After you've had the salt bath, you can take a normal bath so that the salt is washed away. Because if the salt remains in the body, it can cause itching. When we take a bath, we don't clean our body only, but our aura also gets cleansed. You may have noticed or just try out an experiment. Whenever you feel low or you feel that you are surrounded with negative energies or you feel very angry, just go and take a bath. You will feel much lighter. You will see the results immediately. Bathing in flowing water is another method of cleaning the aura. Bathing in rivers, waterfall or even under the shower. While you are having a bath, you can just imagine that all the debris, all the negative energies, all the black energies, you can visualize dark energies flowing out of your body and getting cleansed and your aura becoming bright and clean. Those who know crystal healing can clean the aura using crystals like amethyst and black tourmaline. They can place it in their hands or the client's hand or near the body of the client and do the healing after charging the crystals. Next method is using healing instruments. Singing bowls, Tibetan bells, conch, gong. These are some of the healing instruments that produce very strong vibrations that clears our aura. You can choose any one or two of these which you find soothing and meditate on the sound coming out of these instruments for 10 minutes. Regular chanting of Om or any other mantra also is a very effective way of cleaning the aura. It emits a very strong, powerful vibration which cleans our aura and not only cleans the aura but also makes it strong and powerful and also expands. Any form of yoga or meditation is also very good for aura cleansing. Next is pranayams. 
अनुलोम विलोम भस्त्रिका कपाल भाती दीज आर सम ऑफ दी प्रणायाम विच विल क्लीन योर इफ यू डू इट रेगुलरली नेक्स्ट मेथड इज फायर बात Now, of course, we cannot take a bath in the fire, but if we sit in front of homam or havan, our aura gets cleansed. You would have found in olden days, people used to sit around the havan, and that is because it cleans the aura. A smaller version of this is the arti, which we do in the morning and evening at home, and we take the arti. This also helps to clean, keep our aura clean. Air bath or sun bath is another method to keep our aura clean. When the wind is blowing at a certain velocity. you can just stand with your eyes closed and hands outstretched and just feel the cleansing effect of the wind after 10 minutes you'll find you are feeling very light you can stand in front of the sun 10 minutes early morning or before the sunset so that you don't get tanning wear light color clothes when you're taking a sun bath not only will it clean your aura but it will also help you to produce the necessary vitamin d next method is affirmations If done with faith this is also a very powerful technique you can affirm my aura is getting cleansed my aura is getting strong my aura is getting pure my aura is expanding you can just create your own affirmations and if you can do it along with visualization it will be a very strong technique you can repeat these affirmations a few number of times every day it is very important to keep ourselves free from anger jealousy hate negative emotions as far as possible so that our aura remains clean ideally we should do it regularly but at least we should do it once a week those who are not feeling well or feeling low or depressed or they feel they are surrounded with negative energies they should do it regularly for few days till you feel better by keeping your aura clean not only will you protect yourself from mental physical and emotional illness but also it will help you in your overall well being Let's try it out. Take two or three of these methods, whichever you find convenient, and do it regularly for one week. And let me know in the comment box below how do you feel. I look forward to your comments. This is all in this video today, and I hope you find it useful. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Till we meet again, stay happy and healthy. Namaste.